The New Year's almost here, which means plenty of New Year's Eve parties around the world. Yeah, and right here in West Michigan as well, Fox 17's Matt Witt Ghost went around the area to see what people can expect. Here in Algon, they're getting ready for their big New Year's Eve party. A team right now is working on their stage. Now, organizers say they've added a new feature this year so people feel like they're in New York City when the ball drops. So each year, um, obviously we have wonderful entertainment acts each and every year, but uh, we want to keep it fresh. We switch it up. We have a new act each year. So this year's live band is Project 90. A new band isn't the only change this year for Algot's New Year's Eve party. We've culminated, of course, with the ball drop at midnight, and that's been accompanied by fireworks. This year, we're taking a little bit quieter approach um, and kind of taking the lead of uh, Times Square and shooting confetti out over the crowd. So we will launch confetti right as the ball hits the ground and launch confetti over the crowd from uh, the crane that drops the ball. It's not the only city hosting a big party. This will be Muskegon's first time ever hosting a New Year's Eve ball drop. We have free hot coffee, cocoa, and cider on site. And then at 12 a.m., the ball will drop, a huge LED ball, and then uh, 60 seconds worth of fireworks. These big events are also big boosts for West Michigan businesses. I love the chance to see this small town get uh, uh, just get filled up and uh, just people to embrace it. I, I like seeing when the streets are packed and New Year's Eve is one of those opportunities. This will be Allegan's newest restaurant, The Tilt's first time being open for the party. So I enjoy seeing Allegan uh, being embraced as a city by others who maybe don't come down here quite as often as some of us do. And with the weather looking better than previous years, Allegan is ready to host thousands of people. And we've just seen the crowds build and build after that. We usually have around 2,500 to 3,000 people right at the culmination of the ball drop. So the big party in downtown Algon kicks off at 8 o'clock. Reporting in Algon County, I'm Matt Whitcoast, Fox 17 News.